What's up, everyone? It is Wednesday the 26th, and we are live and good to go. Of course, I am Pat. So, what do we got tonight? Well, <laughs> some of you may saw the title tonight. It's a little Just Guy Mill. Uh, this is a brew I've been tinkering around with, kicking around, doing things, and, you know, I don't know. Stuff. So, uh, what's up, MGT man? Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. Let's go with that. Um, so where the deck starts out is we have plenty of removal with deck and stone and immolating glare. Uh, a compelling argument because that is a mill card. It's also a cycle card, so that's just fine things. Um, you know, cycle into them. Uh, a braid. Still just really good, we find out. Uh, Frank, Sanity, and three. With three Sweltering Suns, because, well, aggro decks kind of kill us. So, um, if it's a bad card in the matchup, we just cycle it out. It's not a big problem to add into the deck, actually. Uh, same with Cast Out, yet again. Gets rid of uh, those pesky Planeswalkers when they land on the battlefield, and we have no way to deal with them. Or we cycle it. Uh, Glimmer finds us our answers. Start awake yet again, just a fantastic mill card. Uh, there is four fumigates in the deck, and then we did have a recent add as to Locust God. Let's go to the hot mess o sideboard, as I like to call it. So, in the sideboard, we have one more deck in stone to round out the uh things that we want to be doing. We have two hours of revelation because uh, a lot of times our opponent has um, things in aggro and stuff. And yes, it destroys our fraying sanity, but it clears the board for three mana. Uh, Sphinx of the Final Word may help us out in uh, the control shells. Sweltering Suns, yet again, aggro. Crumble to Dust is our recent add to a lot of our red sideboards. As it is a bear to deal with decks that ramp. So you hit their Shrine of the Forsaken Gods and Crumble the Dust just gets rid of them. Uh, this is your control breaker right there. Feared Visions is fantastic for us and horrible for them. Nahiri, Nahiri is still awesome. And Crook is the all around good if they're playing with their graveyard deck. The only one that's a question mark is the Locust God. Other than that, deck feels great. 24 lands because it's not really a control deck. We're topping out at 5. Technically 6. So we are going to choose Just Guy Mill. And here we go. Off to the races. Let's rock and roll. Let's see if we can beat last night's numbers because last night's with Grixis Control was pretty unreal. So, all right, well, uh, we have things to do, and I think we'll keep this. So, I'm going to play Needle Spires, because no matter what, that comes into play tapped. Get our water ready for the night. All right, we're good to go. So I hope everyone's having a great Wednesday night. I definitely am. <gasps> Are we playing? Or is this blue-white? Because this is blue-white. I feel like we are um, a little behind the ball on this one. But fraying insanity is really good against him. It's blue-white. It's really blue-white. Oh my goodness, this is going to be fantastic. Alright, uh, we're going to go with that. Blue-white, oh my goodness, this is going to be... This is actually the matchup we've been wanting. Yep, you mill yourself. That's fine. This is awesome. Yeah, yep, yeah. mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm. 
Ooh, there's a God Pharaoh's gift. Ooh, it's shiny. It looks like almost. Maybe not. No attacks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Let's just do that. We're going to help our opponent out. They they need to mill themselves, so let's just mill themselves for help. This should get a scoop pretty quickly. All right, we're going to just do that. Uh, he, we're going to help him put a lot of cards in their deck, into their graveyard. Oh, yeah, there you go. Keep putting them in there, please. They're going to have to do it on the end step. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, on the end step, after the trigger, they're going to have to do it. But here, we're going to, we will help them out. We are nice people. Here, here, let's keep, let's do one more for them. And there, there we go. That, that feels about right. There's 28 cards in that graveyard now for them. All right, so they get a God Pharaoh's gift. We have a card called Fumigate. So they get they get a trigger. This is where Crook will be coming in very promptly. Now there's Champion of Wits. Good, good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're going to discard four, so you've already put one in the yard. Oh my goodness, this is going to be disgusting. All right, yep, mm-hmm. So they put three more in. All right, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, that's a mausoleum wanderer, so we need to find a land. Um, or we're going to find it a braid. And we have an emulating glare, so that's one, two, three, four. Yeah. So let's a braid. Actually, no, we want to destroy. Actually. So what we'll do is wait because they can sacrifice the gate and get back it so we want combat to basically begin or if they tap down okay they're tapping down uh destroy that's fine that goes away So it's five, seven we're taking right now. And we'll cycle. Okay. All right. So we're going to immolate and glare him. We don't care about life gain. Oh, it's a 2-2. Two -two. And that's perfect. We actually lose. Ah. Or, oh, we drew the compelling argument. All right, so we can play with this. 
We can run with this. All right, so let's help our opponent out a little bit. We'll bring in Crook. Locust, you're not good. Um, Sweltering Suns, not... Our opponent does want to play. I count that as a we would win the second game. Just throwing it out there. Yep. Um, man, that's double started awake. Missing a lot of red sources. We're going to mulligan. All right, this is fine. Bottom net. Because we can cycle cast out. I'm not cycling compelling argument unless I have to. Oh, they cycled. That's super interesting. No, I mean... We have the God Kill in hand. All we need to do is to get a Frank Sandy and a land in the top few cards here. Uh, but we are going to cycle things and stuff. All right, let's cycle. Okay, we've got a land, so we're we're gonna run with it. All right, so if we do that, we can start all week, start all week. Compelling argument. And pray to God we find a, uh, so that's 26, 31 cards. I think we're okay there. I mean, I personally would like to have a Frank Sandy, but, you know. Uh, let's... Let's see what our opponent's working with. What do you got? Angel of Sanctions? Prize to Malcolm? Interesting. Interesting indeed. So it's zombies, kind of? That's a relentless dead. Good news is our sweltering suns is kind of good here. All right, so we could actually get Locust God online. Uh, cancel. Do we want to? We're going to do this. Let's whack them one more time. That's Ob, Soren, Cast Out, Dark Cell, Anguished Unmaking. It's a lot of stuff. Crypt Breaker. Relentless Dead. I mean, they're not leaving black up, so if I draw a Fumigate, they can get back a Dreadwander? <gasps> Why, hello! Why, yes, I would love this card. Boop. You can put 10 in your yard now. Trigger. All right, down to 11. All we need is a mill card. 
one mill card. We're taking a lot. I mean, even us killing their stuff would be good. So I think Locust Guy gets played no matter what next turn. So. Let's see. One push. Two. All right. So they're just getting... Two, four, six, eight, nine. All right, so yeah, they're not playing anything. They're just going for the win. All right, so we need a fraying sanity at this point. That I don't think works. So I can do that. Leaves me. Two mana. Uh, that would have been good like a turn or two ago. Because they got five firing up. All right. Well, we're just going to scoop because that is. It would have been. Oh, some of that would have helped. All right. So deck and stone were really good. Uh, we are going to bring in the other Sweltering Suns and those. Cut the cast outs. Um, I think Locust God's going to stay. We're just going to bring in a lot of... Mm, no, Locust God's gone. We're going to bring in a lot of board wipes and go from there with it. I hope y'all are having fun, because I sure am. We may not win a lot of games, but we are definitely going to have fun playing this. So. Deck and Stone really good against zombies. It's, it's a known fact. When you can exile Relentless Deads and Dread Wanderers, it is a OK in our book. There's a clip. Someone created a clip of ours. I'll have to look at that later. All right. Uh, no lands. So we mulligan. It's got lands, but nothing with red, white in it right now. But we'll keep on the scry. Yeah. And three lands, I can't say no to. Uh, we do have board wipes. None of our mill stuff, but... This is where I wish we had a card like Crypt Incursion. Because it would be bonkers. Be like, you mill a bunch. Crypt incursion on the triggers. Aww. So good. That's why modern mill is so much fun. Plus, you can get the turn like one kill when they fetch, and if you have. All of your um, archive traps. I think it's archive trap. Whichever one makes a mill when they search. Uh, we will happily keep. Sure. Dreadwander. Now, if we could draw some white sources, we will be operational. Or we could just draw sweltering suns, because there is four of those in the deck, too. 
Um, so we'll see. Uh, you know what? We will compelling argument our opponent. See if anything's changed. Lost Legacy right on top. Fantastic. Ah, there's nothing wrong with that MGT, man. Alright, so... Can we get a kill spell? All I can tell you is there's fun going on right now. I'm dying a lot, but I am milling people out, and we have gotten so incredibly close. We were just glad to see the Lost Legacy go away. No second Lost Legacy. No. Alright, it's just Diagraph. That's fine. Alright, Sweltering Suns. Alright, so we're going to do this. We're main phasing. I mean, there's no reason not to. Uh, yeah, we're just going to tap both these. Maybe Hour of Devastation is right in the side, not Revelation. We can try Hour of Devastation. That's fine. Relentless Dead. We are going to wipe this board by... But we're taking eight. Uh, white sources, please. The deck says I have enough. <gasps> we don't have a white source, though. All right, so we go to six. Pray to God for a white source. It is all good. I will explain what exactly is going on. We just wiped their board with Sweltering Suns. Uh, sadly, Diagraph Colossus... Oh, it is the Jeskai Mill deck. You are exactly right, Porter. So far, we haven't really won a game. We won one through our opponent not wanting to play us anymore. Yeah, that's what I figured our opponent would do. All right, we dead. There's the white source. Oh, white source. We're still looking. I don't like you. I don't like you. Where is our devastation? You. You. And I think we're going to try running a few of these. And by a few, I mean all of them. And we are going to go like this. And this. And we're going to go to the 25. Where's my white sources? All right, good. No, I can't. Don't want that.
Yeah, yeah. We. Oh man, it is just guy mill night. Tomorrow night is uh blue white pharaoh's god pharaoh's gift. So blue white gift is tomorrow night, and uh, I know Brian will be joining us. So it's been a while since he's been on stream with us. So, ooh, pokey rar. You know what we've been forgetting is our good luck have funds. We need to keep that up. Especially with the um, deck we may or may not be playing tonight. Um, God, this is really good. If we draw blue sources, it's even better. Eh? Eh. So we'll keep. I mean, we got the abrade, and we have the mana for. We can draw the mana for suns. So, uh, depending on what our opponent is on, this is a really good setup for us. Uh, I have no clue yet. We have deserts, but we have suns. We have suns for days. All right, land. We have 25 of you. I'm going to do this. Because we were taught if we shuffle our cards around. <gasps> this is really good for us. Alright. So we're going to upgrade it. Uh, just be inefficient. So we don't have to dump cards out of our hand. Yes. Now the fun begins. I don't know why, but you just cannot help but smile. It's like that thing of like, you're just excited to play a deck like this. I know I'm a horrible person for playing it, but it's just so much fun. Um, we won't deck in stone yet. I mean, we'll take one. We want them to put more on their board. We want other creatures. While we miss a land drop, we are A-OK -okay with this. And a 20 turn clock. Alright, Inspiring Vantage. Uh, still nothing really happening, so we're just going to uh, relax. I mean, we may cycle a Sweltering Suns here. Um, just to kind of give them a sense of security. Yeah, we'll... Maybe? You know, no, we're not. I, I have made the official, official, yet super official decision. We'll take the one. Alright, so we're at the Fumigate Mana now, so uh, we are going to cast... That. And murder everything. And now two cards went into their graveyard, so we will help them out a little bit by letting them see two more cards. And that wasn't always watching. So this is mono white, like humans, mono white watching. Yep. Uh, Startle awake would be really good if we had another blue source, but we do not. So I think in all honesty at this point, um, main phasing a draw here is not the worst. And then we'll cycle that at the end because there's really, I mean, I can get rid of the harvester. But we do have three more braids. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh. 
That's going to be a slight pain. But we're going to cycle that. Another startle awake. Can we get the blue source? We have the kill. Like the serious kill in hand. Alright, so we can get rid of Sunmare. Oh, we got the abrade. Okay, so we could do both. So Sunmare is going to eat it. And we can then abrade the harvester. Yeah, let them crew. Yep. All right. So they went to crew. Bink. Destroy that. All right. So a card went into the graveyard. Next turn, we can uh, fumigate it a little bit. We'll gain two off it. Not really a great deal, but whatever. Play another creature. All right, there's our blue source, so uh, we will be winning promptly after this here. Fumigate. They'll put another card in their graveyard, and then we'll promptly go mill mill. As long as you don't see a Sunmar, we're in a okay shape here. This is a silly deck. No, okay, we're good. Yes, don't play anything. Play nothing. What do you got? It's big. Five mana, it's Sunmar. So we may have to fumigate here. Um, what is up, Mr. Fishing? Uh, so we are definitely fumigating here and just getting rid of that because that is not what we want to deal with. Uh, if we draw a blue source off the top, we can kill them this turn. Um, so, yeah, that's an aerial responder. We are not scared of Monsieur Aerial. Ooh, we got it. Excellent. So we are going to go like this. And we are going to take an ouchie. And they have now are milling a awful lot. So, they're milling out their library at this point. So, it's Audric is in there, and uh, we win. Yep. All right. So, Mono White, uh, we get the deck and Stones. Our Devastation definitely comes in. Uh, Sweltering Suns comes in. Cast Out is not good. Um, actually, you know what? We're gonna cut the other swell, uh, the deck because we do have sweltering suns. So we bring in a lot of just like kill your stuff so we don't die. I will say I'm super excited. Um, while surfing eBay today, since you can't type in hour of devastation and get just the red hour of devastation card. No, you get every card on eBay in Hour of Devastation set. So while surfing through it, I found my uh, four Hour of Devastation for about $20. So we were super excited about that. Uh, this is fine. So no matter what I'm playing, I'll be Hour of Devastating someone. 
Uh, this is for uh, GPDC we're going to, so. Well, that's going to be slightly annoying because we're taking a hit. What's up, Stoby? <gasps> I have rank sanity. This card likes to show up randomly. And in good spots because we have you. That's slightly annoying, but still could kill it. Well, I'm glad you are digging it. It is um, it is a work of love. I guess we're going to have to Sweltering Suns. Or we're going to upbraid. Um, how greedy do I want to get? We'd go to nine. We have answers. All right, we're going to try the greedy route. This may backfire horribly, but I'm okay with this. It's a work of something, I'll say that. So my buddy Bri or Ryan, one of our other streamers here, he loves Mel, and I do too. But he has this, like, ah, they have Fragmatize. Yeah, the deck kind of dies out after rotation because of our big start all wake finish so we got punished for our greed that's kind of boo oh we'll kill it uh, so actually at this point we're going to deck and stone it because uh, we do know our opponent has um, other things that a braid is better at so stone Doby eleven or one one seven. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the spark. I welcome. Is it Stoby? I think it's Stoby. If I said it right, let me know, please. But welcome everyone. Welcome them. First of the night. All right. So we missed a land drop, but we can sweltering suns. Uh, Gideon's Intervention. Sure. Alright, so we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. We are doing this the old-fashioned way. Playing startle wakes and getting them back. All right. Well, we have an answer for uh, Monsieur Glorybound. All right. So we got that. I'm going to abrid that before they even think about doing anything silly. That's funny. They brought in Gideon's intervention for us. Just realize we have like no enchantment hate. It's a small problem. Here, we'll help him out. You can mill a lot. That was a juicy. We'll probably... Oop, got a blue source. Uh, I think we're going to glimmer here. And I think we mill. Actually, let's mill. We'll go down to 6 and... The difference between 6 and, se six and 7 on mono white deck is not much. So we're just going to hit our opponent again. Here, they can see more of their deck. There we go. Ah, more Crested Sun Mares. Very good. Very good. I like seeing the Lone Riders. Oh, God. Really? 
making me deal with it. All right. Uh, you and you. You can have a clue. We have to stall for 11 turns. Or we get lucky on a dig. Odric, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, we have Fumigate. So Odric is going to die. That is... So we're going to do this. I mean, I'm fine with the rotation hit, though. Still. I mean, it's... It's going to happen. But we're going to play the deck while we can. Yeah, that's that's an inspector. We're not dead yet. Opponent's going to crack that clue right away. They're down to seven, so they're helping us out real quick here. Yep, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Crack the clue again. Down to six. We do have a sweltering suns in hand. We have two sweltering suns in hand now. So we're going to do that. Murder everything. So six turns now. I think we may get the double mill win here. Through the hard route. Another another, another problem, child. We, we have really no way to deal with him right yet. Um, we did just get the win, though. Oh, top decks. Top deck. Yep. So if you're getting back into standard, this is not where you want to go so much. But, um, So, I mean, there's we have a few decks that really do fit well with the not-so-much-rotation-happening thing. So, um, yeah, if you hang out, definitely you'll see a lot of different decks. Uh, it just depends on what style you want to play. Mm, hello? All right, we're going to keep this. Don't Unable to cast Sweltering Suns yet. But so you're playing Grixis Control. I, I mean, I just played it last night. Uh, it was fun. It's a good deck. Uh, mine, I feel it could go a little bit more black for a few more kill spells. But otherwise, uh, the deck as a whole was just fine. All right, Immolating Glare is not a bad pick up here. Not knowing my, my opponent's on. If this is a control shell, then we're, uh, it'll be interesting. So the land goes, tell me we're looking at probably a control shell. So I, I think we're going to cycle a sweltering suns here yeah this looks like it's blue red control all right that's going to be um interesting but we do have plenty of play here so we're gonna play that um probably cycling out our other sweltering suns Oh, God, I wish we'd see Doomblade just so I could play my full art Doomblades. All right, so um, let's cycle. All right, so we got a Glimmer. That feels really good. We're drawing a fair amount of land, which is 
we actually kind of want to be in that route. Our opponent probably thinks we're just on control anyway. So if they go to Glimmer, we're going to Glimmer. While they're tapped down, because that's what we do. Uh, we're going to bottom. Bottom. All right, that's fine. So they bottom both as well. Good luck, have fun. I mean, I don't feel bad with like grasp and everything because you can still get kill things pretty easily with grasp. Um, the new hour of what the black hour. Is fine um, because you can exile just about anything you need to. All right, so we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to play into the fact there's only one blue source, technically two. So let's see what my opponent's sitting on. All right, so they Supreme World. All right, that's fine. All right, so this is actually Grixis Control. We'll see what kind of Grixis this is. They actually have to have a hard counter this time. I'll play the three. All right, we're online. And this is gonna help us out so much. You got six mana, so what are we doing? You don't have Nico mana yet there, killer. That tells me we're looking at Nico. So we need to find a cast out. Our opponent conceded the game. All right, so that's really good. Um, these are fantastic. Possibly crook. Possibly. Um, so most likely they don't have the creature sideboard. So. I'll leave an Immolating Glare in. Um, we're going to bring the Heeries in. And we're going to bring Crumbles because I'm just going to bring all sorts of random hate that they have to deal with. And we're going to take them off Nico Mana. So we'll leave it like this. So. So it is definitely Grixis control. Um, I see a win in hand. The abrade's not so good here, but if there's Gear Hulk, we're gonna play it against it. So all right, so we do this, and then we Prairie Stream. And then we do one of these two. Oh, yes. High frame sanity. You're going to get me the win. <gasps> it's Kefnet. I don't care. We're going to frame sanity first. And then we're going to crumble the dust. Because you're tapped down, so I can frame sanity. And you're on five cards right now, so. Oh, let me crumble you. Sh played that wrong. I should have played the Spire Bluff. 
I think we'd go after the Aether Hub, actually. <gasps> you're tapping down again? No, you're not. No. Don't give me two. Don't. Don't tease me. All right. So... There comes the gl oh no the cavernet activation. All right, that's fine. So cavernet's gonna get the swing. Um, we want our opponent to tap down. Oh sweet, you're putting a card in your graveyard for me. You'll learn. There's a land. Alright, um, so we have cast out. Uh, let's cast it and draw out our opponent's uh, stuff. That's fine. Nope. Because now they only have six cards, so they actually have to activate Kefnet. And they cannot play a land. All right, so they're going to activate. So this is going to be really good for us. Because we are going to... All right, so that's Sunsir mana, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, let's get rid of those. Uh, is there any good ones? I never thought I was... Yeah, no, we already said that. Um, so you got Doomfall... Glimmer, Glimmer, Pull, Never, Supreme Will. So you only have one counter in hand. What's in this? Two Disallow, two Dispels, two Sensor. Three Supreme Wills, two Nico. All right. So Kefnet's a one of. All right, so we're going to take a hit here. We do need to find an answer for uh, Mr. Kefnet. Or we are dead, dead, dead. Are they glimmering? Doomfall? You can Doomfall whatever you want, buddy. That's fine. Uh, let's cast that. Have I tried? I have not, Kenny. Uh, no, they're gonna. Yeah, we're dead this game, this turn. All right, that's fine. Oh, nice, Moto. Oh, Moto. Uh, I think I was going to try it, and I totally forgot to grab it. So, let me go order some. I mean, I would totally be down to see it. I haven't seen a list that I actually liked in 
the mono blue so much. Did Moto just die? Please tell me Moto just didn't go down. What's wrong with Mill? There is nothing wrong with Mill. All right, there we go. We're back. We can try to find out of the board. I'm actually fine with that. As like a swap out for our braid. Oh, yes. Uh, just link it in chat here. We'll take a looky Lou. Now we have a glimmer. We can glimmer on four. I think it's fine. Sphinx is good for us because that turns off any of his counter spells. And he literally has like zero ways besides, well, he has zero ways to deal with it. So. While we're waiting on my opponent to decide if they're keeping or not. Mine. All right. Yep, that's kind of what I figured. Uh, did my opponent disconnect or not? All right, while we're waiting on our opponent, we're just going to open in a new tab. And mute. All right, so Frank and Sandy start of the week. Star of the week's not that sensor, compelling argument, countervailing winds, illumination. Abandon. You may cast not line cards with cycling. The card of cycling was put in your graveyard from anywhere. It wasn't cycled. Exile. I don't know if I like that. Um, we're going to go f do this, though. So. Alright, the list is below. So it's in golf. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to do this. I mean, I could definitely see it being pretty decent. decent. Is it crazy to side it in? Oh, yeah, Frank and Sandy's ridiculous to this deck. Oh my goodness, we have an abraid target. Hurry before my opponent does something silly. So my opponent's tapping down. Uh, you get to Doomfall me. That's fine. Personally, I might take the Sphinx here. Or you're going to take the Glimmer. That's completely acceptable. 
because I'm just going to play tap land after tap land and then play a Sphinx. Uh, so I played the card that searches for it, and I will say I am not in love with Open the Armory. Like, I get it's super important to the deck, but Open the Armory just feels really bad. So, like, I, we've, like, every time I've played the deck with open, I just bang my head against the desk. Cause I'm like, I love it, but I also just want it to go away. So I decided officially at that point not to play open the armory. Alright, well, we got uh, our friend. Which means any of our spells, instants, and sorceries are good. They need another Doomfall. They've only run three. They Doomfalled us for the first time. You can't counter it. Just letting them know. You can try. Can't be countered. Flying Hexproof, Instants and Sorceries, can't be countered. Just saying. It's really good. So with Grixis Control running around as much as it is, because my store is flooded with Grixis Control right now, I most likely will be bringing a Fraying Sanity deck. Just to anger my opponent. That's fine. Because when they counter things and it goes in the yard, it's real good. It helps me out. But I do want to try Collective Defiance instead of a Braid. Or... Uh, and see what it does because a braid's really good and I mean maybe we just sub in some defiances instead of like our emulated glares and stuff like that uh, they are looking for doomfall because Nico doesn't even deal with it you can Nico That's fine. I'm going to fraying sanity you. If I was him, I'd probably plus one. Can't minus four. Yep, so we're going to XL compelling and that. Leaving fraying sanity. Because our opponent tapped down. And Nico's going to get whacked. Um, we do have two runes or rivulet so so we're gonna hit Nico Nico's down to three Yeah, but, I mean, that's about it. Our, I didn't see an hour in hand So when we hit him. Uh, so cast out. You can hit my fraying sanity, I guess. That's kind of annoying, but we're going to do this. Actually, it does not matter, so let's undo... All right, so that's fine. We're just going to win through ne our Sphinx Beats. We'll kill Nico. This is fine. All right, Nico's going to die.
Did they find a Doomfall? No. We're looking. All right, Glimmer. I would love a few revisions right now. God, would I love a few revisions right now. Bottom both. They are searching for the answer. Uh, let's swing it. Good old Nico. Kill Nico. Now, if they try to Doomfall us, I will activate Wandering Fumeral in response. And sack out Fumeral. So, we have a little bit of protection now. And they are completely searching for their answer. The other answer is Kefnet. I forgot they did have a one of Kefnet. Yes. Alright, we're going to do that. You got Disallow? Listen, I'm trying to help you out. Okay, they don't want my help. I, mean, I get it. It's fine. I was just trying to help them out, find more answers. They, they don't want my help, guys. Nico number two. Nico number two. Yep. Can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, they got a compelling argument me? Those jerks. Alright, we're gonna kill Nico. I mean, they're tapped out. So, let's kill Nico. He only runs two, so we know that's it. Nico, Nico. Boop. Bye, Nico. Ooh. Spicy. They left magma spray in. All right, that's fine. Nico goes down. You can glimmer. I cannot believe they left Magma Spray in. I'm a little shocked. Little. All right, today. All right, they were supreme willing. We're looking for our answers. Keep looking. All right, let's land a crook. Feels really good. Are they really going to counter my crook? <laughs> okay. Nico, go down. Glimmer. Top, top. Okay, what did we find? They found Doomfall. All right. So we are back to the needing. Uh. All right. Well, guess what? Boop. Boop. Not happening.
I mean, it, I think we're okay. I mean, we have a lot of life still in the deck. Oh, they got a Nahiri too out of us. God, that I would have loved. Are we going to commit? Oh, please tell me we're committing. I oh, know, Brawl's not lasting. We're going to murder that. Boop, boop. Wow, they got the Dispel. And he's pretty much creatureless, so there's Kefnet, but we're at three cards in the deck. At this point, we cycle. Got a cast out. Uh, I think we deal with Nico. How? No, no. Should have chose the other one. Let me undo my trigger. I can't. Should have chose the other. That's annoying. I just remember Nahiri can exile. Uh, bad me. I mean, if we get lucky enough and hit. But I want to hit. Oh my god, they forgot it. Um, okay. I won't say anything. So we really need to hit big here. And pray to god that we can deal with All right, so that's a start. That lands. So we sacrifice, they put eight cards in, that leaves them at seven. So any of our, any of our spells are live. You hear he can exile for insanity. So probably should have done that on my turn. No, I don't think it mattered. I think we should try Collective Defiance, though. So. Your opponents are being really cool. They say they're actually building a deck like this. For uh, their F&M, because they really like it. Of course, we get the compelling argument off the top. Got to play to our outs. They're down to nine. 
All we need is anything. A compelling something. Yeah, that's a failed cast out. Any of our... We're going to play to our outs, folks. I think our opponent is out of counters. Oh my goodness, please tell me we get this. Please, no counter spell one time. They only had two disallows. Oh, they had negate. No. <laughs> yep. I was looking for that land. If we had drawn the blue land that lets us mill, we get there. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try Collective Defiance in there. I want to see what it does. Let's see what it does over a braid. Boop -a -doop -a -doo 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 -doo. And we cut back on that. Cut back on a deck. We're going to go to two of Braid's main. All right, that works. So I wonder, do you like... I like white in the way of kill spells. So, or in the way of like board wipe. I don't know. Uh, we'll keep, see how we do. So we got in a braid. We have defiance. We'll see how it does. This is Yitz's uh, little tack of spice. And see what it does. All right, evolving wild. Sweet. So nothing on turn one. Not that it really is many turn one plays, but, you know. All right, so we're going to do this. Um, it doesn't look like I'm too worried about whatever our opponent's going to do yet, so. No blue mana. Red is fine. If this is mono red, I am completely fine with this. Mm, there's blue mana. Oh, is this like blue red stuff? Yeah, Bolus and Nico are no joke. Or, or Bolus and Nahiri, yeah, sorry. Nico and Nahiri are definitely no joke. All right, so we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to abrade our opponent. The problem in in Jeskai, there's just so much good stuff, and that you have to include 12 cards. That's, like, the hardest thing about it. Like, I get what Mono Blue is doing. Like, you you have a lot of stall tactics in Blue and whatnot. And even in Blue-White, once you get into, like, the adding Red Realm, there's just so many good kill spells. You could get rid of White and just go Blue-Red... So 
so. Probably Glimmer here. Yeah, I have no idea what my opponent's playing. I might have to kill that. Uh, let's glimmer. I mean, let's glimmer while they're tapped out. I mean, that's better. Um, bottom, top. That's fine. And right now, there, I'm not. I'm not too worried. All right, this is fine. I mean, I guess I probably kill him because I don't take eight. We'll murder him. Gain two back. So this is like a blue-red discard cycling. It must be like blue-red Drakehaven. Madcap experiment? Our opponent just killed themselves. What did they just reveal? Contingency plan. It's blue red God Pharaoh's gift. Um, it's kind of rough. So Crook is really good, or so I've heard. Blue red God Pharaoh's gift. I think that's all we do. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Our opponent scooped. I guess now that we figured it out and they didn't see any of our deck. That's fine. So, nope, definitely feeling, uh, feeling the deck in a way, just, we haven't gotten, I mean, we got the mill kill on the mono white player, um, all right, so tap lands for days, but we have a lot of. Dark just guy, so you're building this list or a list like this then, Stuby. Uh there's no creature. You're you're looking at a zero creature deck here. So You do not get anything. You do get to scry, but you do not get anything. No, I'm glad to see uh, we're staying with the what? Uh, they played Harsh Scrutiny, which they have to. They look at my hand, 
and they choose a creature from it. That player discards that, and they scry one. I have no creatures, so they just got the scry. It was a one mana, I get the scry, look at your hand. So it was one mana peak with scry. I think we're looking at like a... play that oh how did he get minus 10 he the last opponent oops um played uh the experiment the red experiment card and uh Did not find his God Pharaoh's gift for a while. That was a good one. <laughs> That's a Chad. I mean, might as well make efficient if our opponents basically, I mean, they have not much for us to handle here. We're going to have a lot of dead cards. That's not a dead card. We can actually uh, kill that. So we can definitely kill that, but we're going to deck it. Yep. So the reason the four color deck did so well, it was basically like silver bullet galore. So... Um, we'll hold here. I don't want to get my start all grabbed, but, um, I'd prefer drawing some cards. You know what? They gotta take the startle awake here. And I can get it back. So. I'm actually fine with this. Oh, they take. Wow. They leave startled. Okay. Might as well just do this. Uh, what do we got? Doomfalls, obs, more cursed witches. Spells your opponent's cast targeting cost one last one. It dies. Unless you cast that target enchanted player, it costs one less. That's fine. If we have two, we'll sweltering suns the two. I'm not too keen on that. I'd like to deck and stone the accursed witch, but um, 
we'll figure that one out as we go here. So I think we abrade the zombie here. And I think we're going to cycle Sweltering Suns. I mean, we can take a few hits from the Witch. Try to find one of our uh, other Deccan Stones. Alright, we're going to do that. You have officially been cursed, good person. Yeah, he had a good idea, just... And, I, I mean, the silver bullet idea is great. Because it's just like, alright, I need to get rid of things. I need to do things. So... And having as much dig as he he had was just unreal. So, let's do this. Uh, we're going to cycle. Draw a card. Claire is doable. So, we have a mill eight out. I don't know how I want to handle this accursed witch. So, I mean, you know what I could technically do? I don't see, I mean, I see Grasp. I want to give them a target. Let's, you know, let's murder it. All right, so that's all their cursed witches are gone. Just need to find a mill card. That's uh, a problem. The planes. You play the planes. All right. Uh, I think we've got it's eight and eight. Boo. Yep. So I think we can win. Yep. All right, so they put eight in. They're going to mill over eight, go down to three. Now two. They get a fumigate. They're down to one. Oh, this one is not dead. We basically got to hope for anything. Oh, that forgot that curse. What were we drawing? Land. They got us on one. Alright, so Feared Visions is super good here. Um, I'm sure Nahiri will be actually really good here too. Uh, Crumble, we're going to screw with our opponent. That's really good. What's not good is you. You. 
you take a crumble out. So I'm sure they're going to bring in ways to deal with our Frank Sandys. But it is what it is. So. Things are looking up. Yes. Um, I mean, we'll keep this. Needle spires say go. We can go buck wild with compelling arguments. Really, they're going to catch my one creature. All right. Pain gain starting. The other option I was definitely considering was going um, blue-black for the mill. Yeah, Gideon's Intervention. Get rid of that garbage. Hot pile of garbage. I'm just going for the straight um, win of just milling our opponent out. Yeah, it's a Soren. And two Doomfalls and a Forsake. Fantastic. Let's get all that hate out. We're going to have to deal with him. I was going to cycle you. Actually, I don't have another red source, but we can cast that. And do that. And I'm going to take that. It's a Gidgeon. Cannot lose the game. Yep, I'm just going to mill you out and you're going to play with... Alright, we want this to hit the battlefield in the worst way. Our opponents missed on land drops. We're... We're redirecting a Gideon. Let's go with that. That's slightly annoying. I'm actually completely fine with this at this point. That's fine.
We'll do this the old-fashioned way. We will wait until a Cursed Witch attacks. Tick down Nahiri. Alright, so you're going to let me ping at Gideon a little bit. Alright, we're going to go for a second one. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop. Oh, he's indestructible. You prevent all damage. Why is it not red? And double dose? Frank Sandy startled awake. If we draw a land, we can actually get them real good. Yeah, send Gideon trials down. Make him discard. Uh, so we have to Nahiri here. Do away the Cursed Witch. We're going to take four. Yeah, four. Draw two. Deal with the Nahiri. That's fine. Land, land. What's up, Patty? Or paid it? Peyote? You stopped over. Peyote with the follow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the spark, Peyote. Peyote's a seven days to dire with us. Our good old Midnight Designer group. Yep. Playing on Man Landing to Gideon, LLV. We just want to see our opponent tap down. That's kind of annoying. Um, so he's still indestructible, so and it's preventing all damage. So no, we do not want to redirect a Gideon this turn. And the host, Peyote, thank you for the host. Um, so we're gonna do this. Can we kill him? Three, no. They kill us this turn. Oh, man. Do you have the fraying sanity? And we have 26. We have the Frank Sanity and 26. Unless we draw one of our glares. 
So let's Alright, so we're gonna do that. It doesn't really matter. We're just dying. But I'm going to go out on a bang. Mill our opponent out. There's the cast out. Yeah, they got us. They got us. That happens. Uh, so frustrating at times. It happens. All right, let's see what we got. Um, you know what? This is fine. Keep. We get to try the good old collective defiance, maybe. Uh, so we are gonna say good luck, have fun to our opponent, because you always say that, especially when you're playing mill. So our opponent's thinking about doing something. All right, so let's play the tap land because the tap land's always good on turn zero. Wow, we have like 20 people watching. That's pretty awesome. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. Love y'all to death. Watching a little mill happen. So we know there's an island in our opponent's hand. It's a prowess deck with Afflict. That's cute. Uh, let's murder that. So what is up, everyone? Welcome to the Spark. Champ That's a shiny champion of wits. Let's see what we discard. Unless this is like um, what I think it might be, which is another um, gift of the God Pharaoh deck. So everyone is trying to shove it into everything. I mean, literal everything. I can't complain. I'm going to play it tomorrow, but, you know, with Brian. Uh, Lord of the... A curse that doesn't fit the zombie theme, though. I'm a little confused. And by slightly confused, I may mean very confused. Yeah, it, it has now officially been updated. Uh, we have been tinkering around tonight, Blazing, with the Just Guy shell. Okay. It's a Scarab God deck. Interesting. Zombie cards from your graveyards. Oh, we're going to want to find a land here. 
with this glimmer. Oh, is this what it is? Okay. I was super confused. All right, I haven't seen this list, so I'm we're seeing it for the first time all together. That's a dire. That's going to be a real big dire. But we are going to get some hopefully land here. Let's see. Let's glimmer. All we need is an untapped land. It does not matter. Uh, no, but yes. And that's an untapped land. As the deck, and it shall provide. All right, so we'll do that. Uh, we will fumigate. Gain some life. Oh, uh, see, you know it's going to be a good night. It's still, it's a good night because we have you all here. But it's a good night when you get uh, a little dare from Stan Bush and the Transformers soundtrack in your headphones. I will not serenade you all, but it is a good night. Our opponent's doing something. This is probably... Oh, no, we're just making a human. All right, that's actually super acceptable on my part here. Because I'm going to do this to you. Don't mind me. And then I'm going to do this to you. And we're going to take a look at your deck. You can put five more in there. I want to see your deck because I win next turn. 26, 36. We have a mill for 36 in one turn. We are going to get the mill win. I don't think they have to, uh, so a way a way to put us to dead. And since their life total is not really mattering because their life total starts at 60. Technically 53. Well, I'll say Mulligan. And internalized. Well, that's fine. Ouch. I mean, big blue, 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 go like that. Here, I'm going to help you out. I got some more cards for you. Mill a bunch. What do you got in the yard, by the way? Sellers, there is no um gift in here. This is just blue black zombies, kind of eternalized stuff. All right, so blue black zombies with eternalize. Uh, feel like hour of devastation. Feel like deck and stone, and there is eternalize, which means we'll bring that. Let's 
so um, I think we actually take out the collective defiances here. And I think we take out the cast outs. We may bring in the two two defiances for, for the two cast outs because I don't think the cast outs are worth it. Um, I think we run it like that. Mana base is, believe it or not, but not horrible because we're running 25 lands. So... It has not been the giant steaming pile of garbage that we thought it might be. Uh, we'll keep. We got five mana. A Frank Sanity and possibly nailing our opponent for. For a good chunk. See, the reason I've had uh, Suns in there blazing is. Hey, Doc. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spark. Everyone welcome Hey, Doc, to the channel. Next, we can escalate. That's the only reason we have it in there. All right, so that's a crook. So we're going to do this first. Opponent's pretty awesome. Oh, this has been a good night. We've had fun with this deck. It may have not been the greatest winning deck ever, but it certainly is fun, folks. So, our opponent actually owns a brewing company. I love it. The name of the brewing company is Shenanigans Brewing. Alright, how can you be angry at that? All right, so that's fine. Uh, we will crook on two. This is this is super interesting. Our opponent's being awesome, by the way. I love her. this. Is all right. Uh, yep, yeah, we're gonna do this. How much hate? Can they bring in? 
just being blue black. Alright, so we can do that. I mean, it just basically makes it so uh, if we see eternalized, a bunch of eternalized creatures we hit with Frank Sandy, they can go away. Shiny champ. Oh, this is going to be a good night. I think we're going to do a special Saturday stream. But no, I got definitely get it blazing. I mean, it definitely would help our mana base. But I've not had so much of a problem. I actually tweaked it to the point where we're actually pretty okay. We've not really run into a huge, uh-oh, we need to do this type thing. So. My opponent's being awesome. We're having a whole full-on conversation over here. Where are they based out of? <coughs> Sydney, Australia. They are out of man. Now we'll take one. Opponent just built their first uh, gray guy. Eighty nineteen eighty four. It's been a uh, let's say. It's had its ups, it's had its downs, but yet again, we are still standing, and it is super fun. Uh, we are totally going to uh, afflict our opponent with this. So if they want to champion a wits and help us out a little bit, that's completely acceptable. Because I think I know what I'm going to do next turn to him. We're going to murder the champion. Because in the long run, the champion actually helps us out. I haven't updated it yet to what we are at now, Stewie. So we may have to murder Diagraph. Yep. So we are murdering Diagraph now. But my opponent's going to lose the three cards in their hand. So we're going to do this. Cast with Escalate. Target player and this. You can discard. I kill that. Ooh, we got some juicies out of there. Four cards in the yard. We got a Kenra Eternal. We got a Gissel and Grolf. And 
we got a Diagraph and a Crypt Breaker out of that, too. We gave our opponent four new cards. Three. So, I mean, it's completely acceptable. So. And as always, I like to... Uh, any predictions for the PT? I've been saying a lot. Um, so, I guarantee we're going to see someone bring a mill deck. Is it going to do well? I don't know. But there's going to be a mill deck. Probably one of the Japanese teams, most likely, or the foreign, one of the foreign teams. Um, so, at this point, we really do need to find an answer. Um, GIF, I think the GIF stacks are going to be running around pretty heavily. Uh, the God Pharaoh gift decks. There's going to be some sort of control deck showing up. Unknown what it is. Probably, if I were to say anything, probably a four color or Grixis control shell. Or both. Uh, ramp is going to be played very heavily. The um, Everyone still realizes that Ulamog's a good card. Uh, so, Ramp is really heavily played. So, if you're playing that in a PT... I would have some sideboard hate for that. Um, I mean, Dovin Bond's fine. I mean, I will never hate on the Dovin Bonds of the world. He has his place. He's not... In a world where a braid could take over, and your gear hulks are a six-mana flashback something... It, you know, six, eight, so we're at four. Uh, top both these, please. That was by far the best top we'd ever see. Um, so I mean that to me that's where it's going to be at I think we're going to see a lot of that um, you may see someone coming out with something else a little spicy alright so we're going to take 8 but we're going to gain 5 so we're taking 3 successfully which is fine I don't see a problem with it and then my opponent is top decking they can eternalize, but we're going to gain five. We drew an untapped source. Oh, we double fumigate. All right. So let's fumigate. Got it. Good. So we can eternalize Champion of Wits, but that's not really great for our opponent. Hi, dear. Because uh, they have to discard f two cards, which then makes it four, which then puts them at 29. And we have 26 of mill in hand right now. So I think we may have our opponent. They could do the Kenra Eternal. I think that has... No, that does not. Uh, it's only champion. So. But it's seven mana as champion? Yeah, it's seven. Alright, it's a Festering Mummy. Uh, we're not too overly worried about the Festering Mummy. I can tell you what is going to happen now. Oh, hi Fumigate. 
Um, we are going to startled awake. And then we're going to let that happen. They got six mana. Uh, we are going to exile their graveyard and my graveyard. I mean, technically, I could have done it and killed the Scarab God, but, you know. We have the kill. Yep. It's too easy, really, to just dedicate two crooks to that. And then if you have some more braids, you're fine blazing. So. I mean it at my opponent. We get drained for one. But we still live. So we won with Mill. Our opponent was super awesome, by the way. So let's talk about the deck, because that's where we're at in the night. So I don't think I'm in its final form by far. Um, I think we, are, we have a lot going on. Um... So right now, it is uh, really 25 lands. We brought in the desert land to get the mill effect because we needed just that little bit extra to kick us over the edge at times. Uh, of course, you have the mill package, which is the startled awakes, fraying sanities, and compelling arguments. Um, we're running two and two in the deck and stone emulating glare. I feel like that's fine, especially with like the zombie matchups and all that out there. They just kill zombies. And Immolating Glare is any of the stupid creatures, the bigger stupid creatures we can't deal with in an easy way. A Braid still needs to be there in some form if you run into any of the Gear Hulks or anything with. Let's just go with Gifts, because that's what we're talking about. God, God Pharaoh Gift. Uh, Collective Defiance, I think we're going to cut down to three. But it was actually really okay. Discarding our opponent's hand, which we got a scare, got a scorpion god and a Gizzle and Garolf. So I think that was okay and killing a rather pain in a butt creature to deal with. Uh, Suns is still where I think I want to be at because we do have the cycling. So when we get to the point where it's like, oh, this is just not a good card anymore, pay three, cycle it, draw a new card. Uh, cast out is for still any of the planeswalkers out there, aka Nico, um, and any of his cronies that we have to deal with. Uh, Fumigate is a four of because we do need board wipes, so we carry six board wipes main. Uh, what is the sideboard look like right now? It is a hot mess of stuff. I think I'm going to change it a little bit more and tinker with it, but the we bring in a third deck in stone, which is fine. Sphinx of the Final Word is another win con we can bring into. It also makes, so say we have Fraying Sandy down. Uh, somehow we got against a control shell, like a blue-black control player or uh, Grixis. And we got one down. You put this down, and then your Startle Awakes and all that are uncounterable. 
So that feels really good. Um, Crumble of Dust is the new sideboard card hate for me for all of the ramp matchups. I hit their Shrine of the Forsaken Gods and make it go away. Uh, yet again, Fear Visions is a great card for us. Draws us into more of our action. Um, could actually see it going main board in some way just because it is that good. Um, and control decks hate it. Nahiri is really good, and Crook is the God Pharaoh. God Pharaoh gifts deck hate I bring in for every. If you have a graveyard strategy, I bring this in. Plain and simple. So other than that, deck was fun. It was super fun. I liked it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Tomorrow we actually come back with Blue White God Pharaoh gift. Um, I'm going to see if I can find the Teamer version as well, because there's a Teamer version out there. That's running like four of the take an extra attack step duders. And bringing them back. And that looks super fun. So we will be... Or oh, combat cell rip. That's one. So other than that, if you like what you heard, hit that follow button. Hit, or if you're on YouTube and you see this on Friday, hit that sub button. Leave us comments below. We always love to chat with everyone around. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for coming out. We'll see you tomorrow night with Brian. Have a good night, all.